Hey guys, welcome back to this level on uh, this game. Last time we made progression, but not enough for it to actually count as progression in a number format that is visualized on this game. But it was good enough, okay? Shush, it counts, okay? It freaking counts! And if you say otherwise, then you will make me cry, so do not say so. That would make me very sad. Very first sad indeed. Anyways. Hi. Oh. Don't look. Last time we made the almost progression attempt on the first try, and now I'm sucking all of the balls. And I do not wish to suck on balls. That does not sound like a good time. It really, 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 really does not sound like a good time. But whatever you're into, just something I'm personally not into. We're alive. That's surprising. But good. It's, it's one of those good surprises. Like a birthday surprise, you know? It's like, oh, guys, you shouldn't have rather than, oh my god, a bill. You know, it's not one of those surprises. It's like, hey, I'm a granddad. Not me. You know, it's just a thing some granddad could say if he's like, if it's Charles. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm pregnant. Slash, hey, I got someone pregnant, we gonna have a baby. And then there's the other reaction, it's like, Jesus Christ, what are you doing? You're so young. You know? That's that's a very 21st century response, though. Also, how did we not die there? That was a little tight. One second. I was clicking when I died, but I should have died before then so many times, so I'm completely okay with it. God damn it, that was close, so to speak. Like, we had so many close calls, it was like, edge of seat the entire round. Every time, man. It's never in the middle where I hold it for slightly too long, it's always there. The beginning or there. In the middle, it tends to be like, I did a slightly off um, pattern, but it's always on the last one. Every goddamn time, it's always just... The tiniest bit too much or too little. There's no happy middle ground. It's just always there. You know what? That's okay. It's okay. It's fine. Don't worry about it. We got this. We can make progress this time. You just need to believe. Channel your inner energy. Take long, deep breaths. And focus your mind. And you can achieve anything if you put your mind to it. Oh god. I'm just thinking back to what happened earlier in Isaac. I don't quite know what happened there, but okay. But yeah, thinking back to. Thinking back to what happened earlier in Isaac. Where the game. Well, if you haven't seen the video, go see it. It's called OK. Go look, go see it. It's video I've done and it's on Isaac and spoiler warning now basically what happens is I get a game break and then when I leave and go back to you know make sure the game um, uh, I, I leave and go back so I, I forgot what I was at my brain just turned off yeah I le left and went back to make sure it's saved so I don't have to do the game break again Blank card, yeah. No, not blank card, yeah. It's blank card to a diamond, it's greedier. So it was a good time. But then when I booted up every single time, it would just crash immediately. So yeah. And it wouldn't even give me a crash before. It was like, yep, it's just get rid of the program. I'm not gonna explain to you what happened, which can get rid of it and have fun with that. I've been doing that a lot recently. Like, same with Fortnite. I used to get um, error messages come up from, like, um, usually Unreal Engine, which would just be like, yep. We did a bad, I'm sorry. But now everything that crashes... Balls. Everything that crashes just comes up with nothing, it just turns itself off, and I don't know why. Part of me saying it's because new Windows update came out, and now it's changed some stuff, and that may be one of the things, which would not make me very happy. That would pee me off a little. Because crash reports are nice, it, makes you, it helps you notice, you know, why things are breaking. But then, if that's the thing that's causing it not to show up, it's like, well, thanks. Like, it's not just Isaac. 
because like Isaac used to do it, doesn't do it anymore. But it's everything. Like I said, Fortnite does it too, and it's really, real irritating. And you could say like, yeah, I guess a real engine doesn't have it. Well, it does. Maybe it wasn't a real engine. Yeah, but it never happened until this moment, and it's doing the exact same thing with both things. So you know, and I think the game crashes pretty frequently, and it's never happened like this. It always comes up with crash error. Ugh. But now it just freezes and disappears. Which is not what I wanted to do, it's not very good, but it's something I gotta deal with, and I don't wanna do that, but I gotta have to do that. Which is a little irritating. But, oh well. I guess it's not for now I can really do it. That was bad. Oops. Oh well. Oh. Why did my middle finger press the right click. I didn't want to press the right click, but for some reason I pressed the right click. Instead of clicking with the other one, it's not like I accidentally pressed the button that threw me off. I actually physically pressed the wrong button. But with a different finger, it's not like, oh, my finger slipped onto the other key. No, I literally just completely screwed over. I screwed over, screwed myself over. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. Oh my god. Basically, I'm extremely bad. Extremely bad. Which is not a good thing. But it's okay. We can do this. One way or another, I'm gonna beat ya. I'm gonna beat this freaking level freaking one day. I'm gonna beat it. And it's gonna be a good time. I'll beat it. I'll beat it. Sorry, I just was in a singing mood. How did I not die there? I was so late for that mid air floaty doodah. But I somehow managed to jump off it. I guess I'm okay with it, because it's extremely helpful, thank you very much. As much as I don't know how it happened, I'm okay with it happening. Okay, come on. Oh god, I pressed the button so hard there, and it just... And by hard, I mean so many times, and it did not do what I needed it to do, and... Like, you know, it was gonna die, but because I held the button, it didn't. Come on, man. I kept a consistent rhythm that time. Like, that was the, probably the cleanest rhythm I've had today, and it didn't make it. God. Like, it was so smooth and so clean. And I physically could see how the final one, it just started going up. And I was not doing that thing. So I'm calling you out on that one, video game. That one is definitely a call. That, that calls for a call out. Let's see what I did there. I hope someone does. Doesn't really matter, you know, but still. It would be nice for me to actually press the button instead of having my finger. Press the button once and then try and let go of it, but not quite managing it. Real nice! Real, real nice! But oh well. Oh. Golly gosh. I'm actually the worst. Come on. We got these. We do. <sighs> that one was so bad. That one was so bad, it genuinely made me laugh. Genuine laughter because I'm that bad. <sighs> no, not the yawns. I didn't sign up for this. I didn't sign up for this yawnage. I didn't, I promise. Oh, that was bad. Anyways, let's get into the normal subjects because, you know, I've talked about the game enough, even though it's only been a couple of minutes. And by a couple, I mean like nine. Yeah, it's nine minutes. Woo! Last time I looked, it was eight, so, you know, I just saw the estimation. Oh my actual god, please. Please. It's getting to be how bad I'm being. <sighs> the yawns are too much. They're too much. Yeah, Fortnite, it's okay-ish, I think, today. I don't really have much memory for reasons of I don't know. But, I played some rounds, had an amazing round with Marley on 20s. Like, we could have easily won it and we got wiped by one person because of miscommunication and 
well, by the time I got there, both of our teammates were down. And by that, I mean Marley and the other person. Like, I think I had like six kills and like half of them were really, really good snipes. Like, not long distance, but very well led and stuff. And the others were just sort of up close. And I had the worst bullet spread I've ever had on the LMG. It, it is proving, like, that the... Oh my god. Like, the LMG is the most consistently bad... Like, I don't know what I'm saying. It's bullet spread is the most consistent in being how bad it is. Which proves to me that it... it the shots miss because they they want to. It's not like a, a, any other gun where they have a chance to go anywhere. It's like the percentage of chance for going in the middle is like one percent or something. Probably even less, considering I sprayed from like one and a half squares away. Considering it was one square away and I had a bit of high ground over them. Let's give it an extra half. Sprayed a hundred shots out of this gun at a knocked person because I'm okay with tearing in 50s and 20s because usually, like, you're doing it to like take down members of their team to make your life a lot easier in the long run. You know, like, I I don't I'm not bothered if I get torn in it other, other than any other mode because it's like one person out of God knows how many, and then in duos it's like, well, now there's half of the people in the room. Good. I don't know why I said room, I meant group. It did the thing again where I double tap and it flies into space rather than I double tap and it just smashes into the ground. I don't know how to change this, man. I honestly am just like, why? It's pretty janky. I wish they like let you just get into the section and then start playing. Cause if I go up, it insta kills me. If I go down, it insta kills me. There's no middle ground to go off of. The way to survive that one is to not press anything. But sometimes you've got to press it to survive. It's like I don't know what I need to do. But anyways, like I said, me and Molly had some good rounds. Don't know how I died there. It dies there all the time. It's, that that section is 99% jank. But, and it's not jank in that you're gonna die 99% of the time where it's jank in that I don't know if you're gonna survive, just deal with it. But yeah, it was a good round and like I said, I sprayed that many shots at someone and they did not die. They took no bullets and that, that part that a janky killed me again. Good. You're making a good reputation for yourself, jank. You're making people want to buy this video game. This astoundingly amazing video game, which I never knew was as janky as it is until I made this series. Like, I still like the game, but I like it less. Like, I'm sorry, but as the levels get harder, they get jankier. And it's not just because they're harder, because I, I admit they're harder. I'm, I'm bad, and they're hard, so it's a bad mixture. For me, I just play over muscle memory rather than skill. But it's like, a lot of the things at this stage of the game are breaking. I don't know if it's because there's too much stuff on the screen or they just lost, like, the enthusiasm for the game at that point. I don't know, it's just, you know, janky. You know? How am I alive? Okay, I thought I'd survive that. But yeah, like, the LMG was real bad. The books just don't hit. The only way to use an LMG is as your shotgun alternative, essentially. Because otherwise, the bullets just won't hit. It's just how it works. Like, I get intimidated when I hear the LMG. And I shouldn't be. But the reason I am is because if someone else shoots at me, they can hit their shots. If I have the LMG, nothing hits. Like, I'm not exaggerating. I fired my entire clip at this person. None of them hit from a tiny range. There was not very much room for the shots to miss, but they all missed. Also, part of the reason why I was tearing is because I was, like, knocking down walls where they were being rezzed, where I had recently headshot them with my hunting rifle, because that is my baby. It's my favourite weapon. But anyways, like, like I said, this round was really good. 
because there was only like five people left on one team, three on ours, I think a duo and a solo. And we got wiped out by the duo, I think. But they had a lot of stuff. And the reason why we got wiped out by them is because the zone was really tiny by this point. I'm pretty sure the five people were in a base, like a rather large one. The solo was hiding. But they weren't a bad player, it's just, you know, you're against so many teams, you don't want to draw attention to yourself. I would have probably done the same. And there was this giant one by one in the zone, I was like, there's no one in that, surely. Like, that's a, that's a thing you build when someone is on you and you're trying to get the high ground to be safe. It was like, probably six high or something. Which is pretty ridiculous for a one by one. I walked past and started building my own base and then I hear Marley getting knocked behind me and my, the other teammate we had who was a bit of a noob. I let go of the button and clicked again and it didn't acknowledge my button presses. I did both of those in the time that it killed me. Excuse me. Free your game. I would like it if you would work. See what I mean by the jank? Like, you probably don't see what I mean, because you could just say, you're right, it's bad, but no, I did those inputs, like, while it was still going in a straight line, and killing me. It held the freaking input, and it makes me sad. But, yeah, it was a good round, then they both got knocked, I went in with my shotgun, and I stuck with shotguns, and then I died, and the only shot I hit did freaking 8 damage, and that was the best shot I had, and it did, they just ate. Just eight! And then the other teammate came out somewhere after I died, and I was like, ah, so you're a duo. Because me and Marley, if we had just um, got on that person, we could have easily won that, in my opinion. Like, the other teams were not great. They got wiped pretty easily from, like, snipers and rifles. Like, there was no shotguns involved, I don't think. It was just all range. Also, that was a death. I not, I, I don't even know how it happened, because I gently tapped the button and freaking mega jump so thanks game but yeah fortnite was okay-ish today like was there a point which like i don't know some rounds today it was like okay thanks like they've buffed the um suppressed smg so it now isn't the worst weapon in the game it's still not a good weapon but it's not the worst it actually does damage now rather than just yeah, being an SMG. So, it's actually a weapon that you don't feel like poop by using it early game. Which is nice, because it used to just suck all the D. But I had rounds where I got kills. But like, I had some stuff to go to Dusty, so I was like, sure, let's go to Dusty for a bit. Um, I died on quite a few rounds there just because there was no shotguns anywhere and everyone else had them. But I got some kills there, which was nice. But most of the time I ended with no ammo or getting killed by a shotgun. Which, you know, wasn't good. I, I had a deagle as well. One second. I was... I, I didn't have my finger on the button when I died. That was the easy bit. Game, please. I ask you to work, that's all I'm asking, it's not a hard concept and it's not much to ask. It is just, I, I shouldn't need to ask for it. I know I always say like, it's the maximum, it's the minimum, it's the something I should ask. No, it's I, I don't need to ask it, it's just something you should do. It's like humans should just breathe, it's just a thing they do, it's the thing they should do. If they don't, something's wrong. And the game is not doing the thing it's meant to do, so something's wrong. But anyways, I had a deagle in one of these shotgun fights, and I hit the dude for 75, just barely missing his head. And yeah, then I died. Which sucked. And I hit another dude for like 63, who I was in a fight with, and I ended up going into a building where this other good dude with a shotgun was. To try and, you know, get a shotgun. Not to get shotgunned. But sadly, I got the second one in that situation. Which didn't feel too good, it's like, I just want a shotgun, man. Are you freaking serious? Are you freaking serious right now? Why? That
That was me being bad. I let go of the button just the teeny tiniest bit too early. Literally like less than a millisecond. That was bad. That was just I have no words about the game there. Like I held the button like half a second before it killed me and Are you serious? I tap the button as gently as I can, it kills me. I hold the button early, it still kills me. Because I didn't press the button, apparently. But come the hell on, man. Just... Work, 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 work. Just work, 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 work. This video game don't work, 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 work. I really wish it worked, work, 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 work. I don't know, like, any other words in that song other than work. And the fact that at some points Rihanna goes, mmm. -hmm. Yeah, it doesn't sound like that, I know, but still, she just goes, mmm, for some reason. Oh my god, making that noise made my nose itchy. Why is that? Mmm. It's like it vibrates my face. That's weird. Do it now, see if it does it to you, just go, mmm. Like, try pulling different faces as you do it as well, because. I sort of went, mmm, yeah, if I pout and do it, it makes my nose vibrate, and that's really weird, and it goes itchy. Oh, that's strange. Oh, God. Oh, uh, I'm currently sitting on my left hand, like, not sitting, uh, like, under my butt. It's just under my leg, because it's a comfy position to have it in. I don't know why, it's like, in school, they're like, sit on your hands, because you were fiddling. I'm like, sure thing, I don't care. I like sitting on my hands. Bleh. Yeah, it's just the thing I've always liked to do. God, now I've just baffled myself that I can just make my nose itch at any point in time. Just, oh god, there's something stuck in my nose. Mm, and then just, I chew. Done. God, I can sneeze on command. Oh my god. Maybe not sneeze on command, but Jesus Christ, my nose. No, I said, oh my god, because it just, after I did that, it just twinged. It just went from no, like slightly itchy to I'm mega itchy. And then it was good again. That was weird. It's like something inside my nose just spontaneously combust. I don't know, man. But yeah. Don't really have much to say about Fortnite apart from I played decently today. Oh god, I just remember the round earlier though that was like, excuse me? I remember even saying it. Like, it was quite funny to start off with because uh, I was talking to Andy, I believe, on Discord. So I landed really late on the bus. So I just went to like flush because that was the end of the bus. And as I ended up looting, I, I heard a dude, and I was like, well, hi, dude. <laughs> and then he did some dancing, I was like, okay, now you leave the building. Didn't kill him, because I'm not, I'm not that kind of guy. I don't, I'm not a try-hard that'll kill them. Sure, they might come back and kill me later, but I don't care. I'm just like, I'm, I'm going to let you go, but you have no weapon, and I'll feel bad otherwise. If they try and attack me, it's a different story. I'll just shoot them in the face. But if they're just sitting there like that guy, I'm like, you're cool. Have a nice day. So this happened. Um, I went to loot some more. Eventually, I hear him again. I'm like, "Oh, hey, dude!" Because it was the only guy there. And then he shoots at me. So I'm like, "Okay, our friendship's over, I guess." Like he, had, he used a hunting rifle, so I was like, "Okay, he's trying to no scope me. That's scary." Because no scoping, like no scoping isn't scary and scary at the same time. It's like, well, at least he's not skilled because he's using no scoping, but that's terrifying because it means RNG could be on his side because it's never on mine. Luckily, he missed all the shots. And then I end up just pumping him in the face after he builds a couple things to keep himself safe. Like, I don't know if he was gonna keep killing me because he fired one shot from the hunting rifle as a no scope. And then I fired a pump at him, and then he started building. So I don't know if that was like a cheeky shot, or he was genuinely trying to kill me, but either way, I then fired back. And then, yeah, I proceeded to murderize his face. Because, you know, I don't want a dude that I saved his life to, you know, do that. It was quite funny when I got him out of the building, though, because he was just crouching next to me, and I just kept using my press pistol to shoot at the door, be like, go on, leave. He didn't get the message, so I shot him in the foot. And then shot in the other direction. Like, go on, leave the building, and eventually got the message and turned around and left. And it was quite funny, just seeing his little brain go, "Oh, you want me to leave? Okay, 
I get it. Yeah, that guy did not live for very long after he shot at me. But then I go to sort of the factory area near this place and I hear someone shoot me from behind. So I build up. They also build up. I eventually get above them. And then they build up small ramps to get up to me from slightly far away. I throw my clingers at them. Hits the top of the ramp he's standing on. It explodes. He takes no damage. He took no damage. The ramp took no damage. I throw another one. The exact same thing happens. So then, because I'm so mind flooded, he just builds a bit more onto me. And then just shotguns me to death. And I'm just sitting here like, excuse me? Game? These clingers are on the ramp he is standing on? It is no damage doesn't it have to him or the ramp i then went back to go look in the replay and it's like no nope, it's not working right now and i'm like are you freaking serious i also want to do that to the lmg missing every single bullet but you know it doesn't work with 20s apparently like i went back as soon as that round finished and there was just no footage it just doesn't do anything for 20s which is a little annoying so i really wanted to see the bullet spread. It's the sort of thing that's like epic. Fix the LMG. Just make its like area of like sh shots going worse. Don't make it so the shots will miss the enemy. Make it so it just is random chance. Because you don't BS me and tell me that's got, that's random chance. I genuinely wouldn't believe Epic if they came out and made a statement saying the LMG is a weapon that you know. I don't say that, but, but just saying the LMG is a weapon with a magazine of 100 bullets, blah, 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 and does this much damage, and the shots just go in this sort of area. No, no, no. I won't believe that. Like, there's some third party stuff going on with LMGs, and the bullets just don't hit. It's just not possible. Nobody can get this bad bullet spread on one gun over and over. It's just not possible. You, you, the only way to use the weapon correctly is as a shotgun when the shots cannot miss, no matter what. It's the only way I found to use the LMG. And you know, you have to hold down the fire button and try and hit them with as many shots as possible and be accurate. When with a shotgun, you've got to line up one cheeky shot and dead. You know. So the LMG, as much as it's a cool weapon, it's useless to me. Because the shots just will never hit. I'll use it to knock down walls, but the minigun's better. It does less damage, it shoots the same speed, but it, it destroys stuff faster than the LMG. Which makes no sense to me. Because I thought guns were meant to do the same damage to objects as they, you know, the bullets do to people. That's what, that's what I gathered. So I'm pretty sure if you shoot something, it does that much damage to the object. And that's why in replay mode, if you're shooting an object, they'll come up with numbers to be like, yeah, 25, 25, 12, as you're doing damage to the object. And then usually, if you look at the gun, it's like, yep, that's the same damage. But with the LMG, it's just like, yeah, I don't hit anything. It's a tragedy. Like, the LMG, to me, is probably the worst gun in the game now I think about it. In my opinion, I would rather have a minigun, because small bullets you tend to just get loaded with because you just don't use them. I... I... What... What... What do you mean? I was pressing the button really, really quickly and it still went down? What? Are you freaking serious right now? Are you taking the pee? You taking the pee out of a urinal and then just pouring it on me? Is that what you're doing? Because that's what it feels like you're doing and it's not nice. It is extremely displeasing and makes me not want to do this anymore. You know, it's sort of ending the friendship. Because if your friend did that to you, would you still want to be their friend? Would you want to be the friend of somebody that pours urinal pee on you? I think you would. Unless you're into it. But if you're not into it, I don't think you would want to be friends with them. Or you'd forgive them. But this game does it consistently, so you know. It's constantly putting urinal pee on me. But yeah. 
the LMG in my opinion is probably the worst gun in the game. I'd rather have a pistol, I'd rather have a suppressed SMG now, which I used to think was the worst gun. Just any gun would be better. Because it's like, what can I use this for? Range? Mm, no. What can I use this for? Close range? Yeah, kinda. What, I mean, what can I use it for? Point blank? Yes you can. Yes you can. Anything else? Mm, not so much. Also, I once again was not pressing the button, I tapped it as fast as I could. But it still kills me sometimes, I need an explanation. But some places it just says I'm pressing the button for too long, some places it says I'm not pressing it. So it's just like, thanks for the consistency! It's me with Fortnite, it's like, okay, I want to die in ways that are my fault, so I can say, okay, I died because of this, what can I improve? Instead of saying, okay, I died because the game didn't jump and I just got shot in the back a bunch, good. Because I like when I die like that, or well, not like that, I like when I die because of something I did wrong, because then it's constructive, it means I can work on that thing. Rather than it just, just being like, yeah, you're dead. Another ram we had early in 20s. I died because I was building a ramp upwards to um, launch pad, and my ramp just disappears underneath me because someone shot it out, but it made no noise. I was under the impression that, you know, ramps make noise when they break, like they used to. When people shoot at them, you hear the ramp break behind you, but instead what happens is it just breaks. And you don't hear anything, that's, that's a massive problem that they have in Fortnite, and it's been happening for ages recently. Sound is not a good thing anymore. Like, I don't have headphones, but I, I could hear things breaking before, but now I can't. Something's wrong. Like, seriously. Fix the sound epic, please. We need it. At least I do. Once again, it may be a problem only I'm having, and people will be like, Oh, what's the problem? It's like, I don't know, but it's happening to me. Like, things that didn't happen before that are happening now that are stupid like that, it's just... Why? Just, just why? But yeah, it sucks. I'll tell you about well, another round I had today, which was just like, Really, game? You serious? But we'll say that soon, not now, because I'm having a decent attempt, and I'll probably die in my own way. I knew it happened there, but I was pressing the button when I died, so thanks, game! Thanks a bunch! I said in my own way, hoping that it'd kill me in a fair way, so I'd be like, okay, let's not do that again. But instead, it did the thing again where it screwed me for no reason other than middle fingers up your butthole. Because, yay! But anyways, this round was just like, wow. Just wow. Because jetpacks, if you didn't know, you can't get a weapon in a jetpack chest. Something that I think is a little a little stupid. I don't think jetpack is powerful enough to, you know, be switched for a weapon, especially since it's gold. You know? A bush is gold, you still get a gun in there. Chug jug is gold, you get a gun. Chug jug is infinitely better. To be honest, a bush, in my opinion, may actually be better. Like, I don't like the jetpack. I should be dead. Yeah, this round. Okay, I'll say it after this one because I've been ranting for too long. One second. Gotta focus. I didn't touch it. I didn't touch it. I didn't touch it. I was close to it. So, note to self that hitbox is ridiculous. Good, good to know. Yeah, real good to know. Real good to know. Okay, okay. Yeah, there's around I land in the house in um, Pleasant Parks, and you know, this is when you realise Pleasant Park is just cursed because, as I said before, with my other rounds in Pleasant Parks. It sucks, pretty much for me. What happened is, I land at Pleasant Parks, I get in the house, 
I get the chest out of the roof of the house. It gives me a jetpack. And I hear someone below me in the house, and I'm like, oh, I don't have a gun. I go into the first room I find in the house. No gun. He walks through the door and it just has a shotgun in hand. And I'm like, okay, you got me. I drop the shield potion, I drop the jetpack, and I crouch, walk away. And then he dances for a bit, we dance for a bit, and then he shot me in the face. Which is the difference between him and me. He was a tryhard. He didn't kill me immediately, which was nice. One second. I was clicking fast, and it didn't go fast. Thank you, video game, for being not janky. Ha ha ha, that's a joke. But yeah. Um, that's the difference between me and him on the situations where we found people with no guns. He finds someone with no gun. He sure he is nice for a bit and then shoots them. I didn't shoot them until they shot back. This is how it works. And I'll give people guns. I don't think I've ever actually had someone shoot me that I've given a gun to. So far. Like, they tend to just be a little confused. Or they'll just stop attacking me and be on their way. Like, I, I will say though, I don't team with them. I just, you know, leave them be. I feel bad killing an unarmed person. Where's the pride in that? Like, oh yeah, I get an extra kill on my stats. Who cares? It's, it's, it's a kill. Don't, it doesn't matter. No one cares. But yeah, it's just, you know, that thing. Well, I'm just now thinking back to my early Fortnite days when, ah, uh, when I had no skill and I still don't have very much. And when I, you know, had high sensitivity. Oh, I'm a clever person. Oh god. I'm tempted to like make my sensitivity go a little lower now as well. Like maybe like um 0.1% or something. I went up! I went up! But it was not possible to go up without having to do it even earlier than that. Are you serious right now? It was perfect. I had the line up. I did it and it was just slightly off. No. <laughs> Too much. It's too much. I clicked so fast, and then it started to just rapidly go down. What do you mean? Like, sincerely, I'm so confused to why it does that so frequently. The faster I click, the faster it goes down. That makes no sense. I clicked an extra time there and just blew my own brain out. Okay. That hurt to do in my head. But yeah. Um, what was I yeah, I was thinking back to when I had high sensitivity in Fortnite. Good times. I'm now tempted to go back after this video to just see my first video, just a little bit of it. I feel like that'd be entertaining. Just like, oh, look at me. So cute. I wonder if I, like, destroyed trees while pressing WSAD. Or I was just a person that would sit still on a tree. I remember at points I was like, hmm, since I can't hit all these blue things perfectly every time, maybe it's a better idea to hit each one individually. I remember that was a thought point from my head. So basically, if you don't understand, what I mean is, instead of, like, holding down the button and trying to hit each one, just hit it, look where it is, aim, hit it, and just keep doing that. I thought that would be a smart idea. I still don't really know how that works, because sometimes I'll hit none of the things and I'll get like more resources than when I hit all of them on the exact same thing. I'm pretty sure it's kind of randomized, which is a little weird. I wish it, like, each tree would give you a set amount of resources. That's a change that I could easily implement, but I think would actually really be really good for the game. Just like a tree gives you like 40 or 50. Because I think currently that's like the average. Normally it's like 50 if you hit every single one. Sometimes. And usually it's like high 40s. That would be a good thing. Because as far as I know and as far as I'm concerned, it's not guaranteed. It's very much sort of a pulling a name out of a hat sort of thing. Or pulling a number out of a hat. 
between two certain things, like 40 or 50, like I said. I'm bad. That was stupid. That part you gotta click so fast, I'm not used to it still, but. That was bad. But yeah. What was I saying? It's gone. Yeah, pulling a name out of a hat. Yeah, hitting things. I wonder if I was WSAD person or not. I hope I was. I hope I was. I remember one of my first ever kills was like. One of the first times I hit two kills in a game was, I think, when I fought a dude who had a shotgun and didn't use it. I was just shooting me with a revolver. <laughs> and I had a shotgun and was missing every shot. Oh my god, that memory. That's embarrassing. That's actually embarrassing. I remember Chris was there as well, and I was like, I'm sorry, Chris. I haven't seen Chris for a while. Where's Chris gone? Chris, we need you. I should talk about him in Isaac video and see if he comments. Oh, that was bad. Cause I assume he doesn't watch this because who would? But you know, I'm doing this because I'm determined and because you know I'm gonna play it and it's easy. I find it easier to play and talk because I've been doing it so long. So it's just it's in my brain. But yeah, I, I don't want to just finish the series in a place where it's incomplete. That would just really get to me. I don't believe I have OCD, but you know, it just ugh, I, I hate it. Like, when I see people in Fortnite that are, like, maxed out level-wise and they have daily challenges that they've completed and haven't accepted, it really goes to me. Or if they have, like, dances that they haven't, um, clicked on yet. God. E even if I unlock a new thing and I know I'm not going to use it, I have to go into the thing because I hate seeing that little tiny exclamation point up the top there saying, You got a new thing! Also, why was I in the spike as soon as I came out of that portal? Can someone explain that to me? Yeah, I, I just can't handle that little tiny exclamation mark. Just get away! Just get away! If I ever see that in videos, it's just like, ah, my brain! I don't like it! I hate it! Get rid of it! Like, sure, it's it's just a thing. It doesn't matter. But God, I just it bugs me. It bugs me so much. So if I see someone with it, I'm just like, can you just click that, please? Thank you. <laughs> God, I also want to go back and see if, like, I played in Fortnite. Like, I remember there's this um, car stack near Lonely Lodge. Not Lonely Lodge, near. Um, what's it called? Lucky Landing. That's, that's why I got the house from. You know, Lucky Landing, where Andy was like, ooh, look, this is cool. And there's chests on it. And I was like, I remember going here before Lucky was here. Damn. Like, I genuinely remember it, and it's a great time. I just remember climbing and be like, ooh, chests. Because I never used to go to anywhere with people. I was just like, uh, oh, hi. Now I'm like, yeah, let's go place with some people, but not too many. And now I'm like, okay, let's go where everyone is and die constantly, which you don't get a shotgun. Which is always good. Like, Dusty kind of sucks for resources. Which is why I don't have to land Dusty, why no one really lands Dusty anymore, like, I've been Dusty when it's been just barren and there's been no one. Just because no one goes there. And then when it first was there, about 15, 20 people a game would all land there and people would be getting their highest kill games. Guarantee you. Like, if a streamer like Ninja went there, like, as soon as it arrived, as soon as the update was dropped, I clicked three times. One of them bounced, the others didn't register. I don't know why it does that. It does that a lot in that section where I click many times so I know I'm going to bonk. But none of the others register. I don't get it. I really don't. But yeah. Um, if a streamer like Ninja or someone landed there, as the update drops, you're probably going to... He's probably going to get an extremely high kill game. Or he's going to die because he doesn't know where the loot is. And, you know, everyone else. Because just... You know, even for Ninja and people, it's hard to survive places like Little Town. It's not just like hard, but it can be a challenge. Depending on if you get a good gun or not. Or... Just if there's too many people. You could get multiple people on you at once. That just makes it impossible to survive. 
Doesn't matter how good you are, if there's enough people on you, suppressing you, you can't do anything. You just gotta build. Even an aimbot. Yeah, they're probably not gonna survive that. You know? Like, sure, if they have a... A, like, semi-auto and everyone has 100 health, maybe they could kill everyone. Just headshot every single person. I don't quite know what happened there. I tapped the button and it just destroyed itself. Which is irritating at best. But oh well, it's okay. Don't worry about it. We, we got this. We're not going to make progress in this video again. We are at a massive choke point. We should have made progress multiple times. Just every time we get killed. Because of wonky hitboxes or I pull up and it's still not early enough for the game. Which makes me a little bit sad, but it's okay. Cause now I'm gonna die as soon as I get through that goddamn portal in that section. Like, all you gotta do is keep level. I mean, if I die to that, I'm gonna die because it's like, go up! And then straight down again. I'm not gonna expect it. And it's gonna make me very, very sad. Let's hope I can do it. I'm just hoping it's not upside down, because I don't believe there's a blue portal there that flips your gravity. I whistled when I said that. Oops. Yeah, I'm hoping it doesn't do that. That would, mm, that would make that section a lot harder. Sure, make it later, but don't make it as I'm going through a portal, also flipping me upside down. That would be too much, okay? Too much. I would click in quite slowly. So apparently, you click slowly, you go up. You click quickly, you go down. But only sometimes. Only sometimes. I've got through that bit many times. But only sometimes does it do it like that. Because I felt like I was clicking too slowly. But it went too high. But sometimes I'll click too fast and it'll go down. But think about it. You click and it makes you go up. So how does, make, how does doing that more make you not go up more? Hmm? I don't have an explanation for you. I just don't. There is no explanation. I'm sorry, there's just not. It's just like, well, rips. You know, it's just... It's like it inverses your inputs, except clicking still makes you go up. But it's like it doubles the length of time you're pressing the buttons for or something. I don't know. Or halves it. Depending on which one's which, but either way, it's just like, well, that's a bit of a bummer. That was awful. I looked at the time. What am I doing? Do not look at the time when it does that, brain. That's, that's the big stupid. Oh, this is going to be a really long video. I don't know why. I feel like I'm playing badly and the game's screwing me a lot, but, you know, it's apparently not. I held, I was holding the button, and I'm still holding it onto this attempt, which I think is why I jumped immediately. I think I jumped immediately. If I did, that's why. But it didn't do it. That's that's proof right there. That's actual proof. But oh well. God, I'm thirsty. My drink is next to me, but I think it's empty. Empty me? Why did I say empty me? I think I was trying to say empty and me, and I don't know why I was trying to say me, but I said empty me. I'm a clever boy. I'm a clever bunny. Okay, come on. We can do this. Also, oh, tomorrow's stream day, I just thought. So no more of this tomorrow, sadly. Well, sadly, depending. It's kind of nice, because it gives me just a day of, like... What's the thing to say? It gives me a little bit of chill, so to speak. I don't have to do it for a day, which... Means I get less bored, I guess. Oh, I guess... Which is always good. Game board things is never fun. Especially the thing you like to do. I was so high up there. I'm bad. I'm so bad. I clicked and it leveled out, but I needed it to go down. It's because it's don't go in there. It's because it was going down too fast. Oh, that was it. That was it. That was actually it. And I just choked so hard on the biggest D in the world and it it was humiliating and felt bad man it did it again where it kills me in a jank way oh my favorite my actual favorite I love it when you do that yes it's real nice yeah I love that 
get off this, I'm gonna have a nice chill with my drink. And by that, I mean, I'm gonna make another drink, and then I'm gonna have some drink. And I'm gonna get back a crisp or something. From the downstairs. I mind flooded the hell out of myself there. Because, yeah, I'm hungry. Sure, it's late, but go away for this to upload as well. And like I said, I'm actually hungry. Hunger is a thing that I am feeling at this moment, so... The hungry person goes to get the food because... You guessed it. They're hungry! I wasted that attempt because I got my face really, really close to the mic. And my mic's quite... It's probably like a foot from my face or something. Like, downwards. So... There's that. Which... Makes it a little difficult and it's sitting on a box so it's not like I can just lean forwards towards it it's like I have to bend downwards but you know I, I, I manage I manage not the best thing to do in a game like this pardon me but in Fortnite sure you have moments where you can do it oh that was bad oh god pardon me ouch yeah that was that was bad once again, it feels bad, man. It's another thing I've been doing in Fortnite a lot recently is like, I'll be making ridiculous snipes and I'll just be saying sort of, I'll say quotes that you can essentially just say clip it to after, where I'll just be like, catch it! Or like, hey, can you catch that for me? If I fire like an amazing snipe. And then if it hits, it just feels awesome, but if you don't hit, it's like, aww. One day, man, one day I'll land one of those. It's cocky. But it never happens. It's, I'm just saying it for the fun of it. Because the day it happens is going to be a great day. One of my favorite ones is like, can you hold that for me? Because it's just... Because after it happens, you can be real, real cool and be like, oh! And by cool, I said that wrong. I mean, you can be me and just go, oh! Because it feels awesome and you need to release the um, happy energy. Not in that way, you gross people. Yeah, just release that energy in some way, or just be chill and be like, thanks, you know I can count on you. That's the cool option, you know, the chill one, but you know, their heart just started to beat a lot faster because something awesome happened. Like, the adrenaline pumps, that happens to me when I get long snipes, man. It doesn't happen as much with the bolt action, though, because bolt action is much easier to make long snipes. Hunting rifle, those long snipes are good. That's a thought, and he had an amazing snipe earlier of 230 meters. It's her longest snipe ever. I think her next close is in the hundreds. But that was her first over 200 shot, and the guy was so hard to see. He didn't have any shields, luckily, because otherwise she wouldn't have killed him. Because it was a one shot that wasn't a headshot, because his head wasn't even visible. That's how little she could see of him. Like, he was like behind a container near, well, the containers that's like next to Tomorrow Town. Um, well, not next to it, but in that container part, like, just sort of past the hill in next to Martown. Um, he was just behind one of those, and Andy just saw, basically his gun poking out, and just the tiniest sliver of his arm. I clicked, and it went down. That one, okay, that time, it also did it. What the hell? Like, this one was really far off, and the other one, I clicked, and it just kept going down. Twice in a row. Don't know what it is, man, but something hates me. Yeah, it was really funny because she like lined up the shot. Oh my god, what just happened? It just flung itself into space. What the hell? What do you mean? Hashtag take one for life. <laughs> I don't really watch take one that much. I don't watch like streamers that much, to be honest. I don't have the time. But take one is just. Daquan and Dekotaz, like, there's two of the most chill Fortnite players that you'll ever come across. Just the amount of times you'll hear Daquan say, What do you mean? Or this game doo doo. is great, and Dekotaz, he's great as well. Like, he's just, he has such a soft voice, he's just so chill. They're probably two of my favorite Fortnite players, because no matter what, you know they're just gonna be calm throughout it. Like, sure, if they land a great snow, it'll be like, Oh! But they won't have a really overly done reaction. But they'll, they'll always be chill. They're really nice to watch. I like them. Oh god, that was bad. Final attempt though, so... 
No progress once again. But we technically... I'm going to say we made progress because we were closer to making the first section than we've ever been. So yay, progress! It isn't progress, but still, progress! Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you're still enjoying the series. Today was not the greatest day for Geography Dash, personally. But you know, it was okay. So hope you guys enjoyed. I'm yawning. <laughs> and I'll see you guys next time. See ya!